everybody, I'm Jack Seven. I'm a professional unicyclist from Ontario, Canada, and I've been unicycling for over 11 and a half years now. And today, I'm gonna share with you guys my top five favorite unicycle tricks as a professional extreme unicyclist. I feel like this one is going to surprise both the people in the unicycling community and also to the people who don't know much about unicycling. This is gonna be a really interesting video, I hope, so let's get right into it. So number five on this list, going from my least favorite on the list to my most favorite, we got the full out flip. This trick is like the equivalent of doing a tray flip or a 360 flip in skateboarding. It's really similar in the look and feel too, at least in my head. It's super easy to throw up and down obstacles in street, which is why I really like it because you can just casually throw it up and down things and just whenever you want. It's super smooth, super flowy. And this trick also makes like a really good middle ground trick because it's kind of like techy but it's simple. You know, it's got the flips, it's got the spins. It's just an all around good feeling trick. Yeah, so that's why it's number five on my list. So trick number four on this list is the 180 double flip. Now this is a double crank flip with a, your body and the unicycle twisting 180 degrees. The reason I really like this trick is because it's one of the few double flip tricks or tricks with a double flip in it that is easy to make smooth and one of the few 180 tricks that you can get really smooth too. The reason why I really like this trick is because it's one of the few like kind of like the full out flip. It's, it's techy but it's simple. Uh, I've thrown this trick down stair sets many times. It's really fun to do. It's really easy to catch them too if you want to do them off of big drops or downstairs. And you can usually snap them really hard or you can loft them, uh, make them really slow. You can just you can just really manipulate this trick. And uh, that's why I really like the 180 double flip. So we're in the middle now. We got my third favorite trick here, which is the scuff coast. Now this trick is like the equivalent of doing a nose manual on a skateboard or a BMX. It is, it is the nose manual of unicycling, at least in my opinion. Uh, it's really cool feeling trick. I mean, I've always had an affinity kind of for manual tricks in extreme sports in general. So, you know, it makes sense that this trick is one of my favorites. I think another reason why I really like this trick is because it has a really slow and long gradual learning curve, which is for one, really frustrating, but two, really satisfying once you get this trick consistent and under your belt. I also feel really cool when I'm doing this trick, like I'm trying to balance, I'm trying to like hold it still. It's like a very active, you're very actively involved in this trick. It's not like the rest of the tricks on this list where it's kind of explosive and it's, it's set to a second. Now this next trick on the list is my second favorite trick and not to toot my own horn, but it's uh, one of the more mind boggling and mind bending tricks in unicycling and I think looks really cool and really explosive and I think most people would agree. But before I reveal this trick, I just wanna take a second to say, if you really like this video or if you get value from this video, please consider leaving a like. It really helps me out as a content creator and it also helps push these videos out to expand the sport of unicycling and to just show people what's possible. Now for my second favorite trick. This trick is the uni whip. Now this trick is definitely a crowd favorite and definitely one of the coolest looking unicycle tricks out there. Back in the day, like 2013, 2012, around there, I was obsessed with this trick. Like I had dreams about it and I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I just kept trying it and trying and trying it consistently on and off for a little over a year until I had finally landed it in 2013. And then even after that, I just kept dialing it in, riding super hard, trying to get it more and more consistent. Eventually I got it consistent, <laughs> which is where I'm at today. And one of the main reasons why I really like this trick and really enjoy this trick is because it just took so long to land in the first place and then so long to get consistent on top of just being a really cool all around trick. Every time I do it now, uh, it just feels like magic. It feels really cool. And it is just really satisfying for me. It just looks really cool. <laughs> now for the big crunch. And now 
for the big moment. And now, for the number one trick. My number one favorite trick, as of right now, in 2021, is the 180 fast plant. It's not a big trick, it's not huge, but it's just super smooth and super easy to make it clean. Like you can just throw it into street lines or combo it into other tricks, take it off of drops or take it up drops or combo it into other fast plants. It's just really easy to throw in your street lines, flatland lines, it's great. It's just an all around great trick that in my opinion, looks super smooth and stylish. I love this trick a lot and that's why it takes my number one spot just on feeling alone. It just feels it just feels great. I don't know what else to say, guys. But I want to ask you guys a question. What is your favorite trick? Whether you're into skateboard, unicycle, BMX, scootering, like what tricks do you generally like and why? Everybody's tricks vary and they're all different and some people have like really unique opinions about that, so yeah, please leave a comment and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in next week's. Peace.